Well, we certainly haven't escaped it, everybody. We ha did have to do a big runner. Isn't that a wonderful picture that Fergus is creating for you there? The wind in the forefront of this sort of a storm is coming towards us. We got stuck twice, and Fergus said to me, don't worry, after we escaped the first time, he said, it's going towards the escarpment. Uh, we'll be fine here. You can stop. Let's get a shot. Well, you can see the escarpment. There's bone dry. And uh, the storm that you can see is covering the area that we just drove through at high speed. Isn't that an impressive arrangement of clouds? I think that's quite special. Anyway, it is dumping a phenomenal amount of water down to the south. Now, of course, for the migration, we are looking at giraffe, by the way, which are not part of the migration. This is a, a, an interesting development. As we got up to this point where we are now, we found a couple thousand zebra, and they were accompanied by a few hundred wildebeest. So it looked like perhaps the front runners of a migration herd of sorts. But if this rain continues down to the south, I suspect it's going to be a little while still before we see the herds come up here. And if you are hearing a whole lot of rain, uh, wind, sorry, not rain, uh, that is because it is, uh, well, windy. Uh, is quite a lot of storm on the way. Yes, Izzy, you say, yay, tipple skirchy love. Absolutely much tipple skirchy love going on here as we wait for the storm to either sort of dissipate where it is now or I suspect come towards us. We're not going to hang around here a tremendously long time. I was hoping to spend a lot of time down south with the wildebeest. But I will tell you that I found, I think, probably the same tree-climbing lion that Scott had a little bit earlier, and we'll see if we can't go and find her again before we head back. We don't have to go back just yet. But while we do that, let's head across to Tristane. I believe that he is looking for leopards.